hi guys welcome back today we are going to uh, continue uh, learning about the advertisement the next thing we need to learn is uh, the about the device's name so how the BLE specifications uh, uh, set the device name so for that let's see so a uh, BLE device has uh, two types of name the device's name can be a full name or the device's name can be a short name if your device uh, don't have a big name for example in my case I'm just uh, setting the device's name as a uh, uh, Sam BT it's just a, a six byte name so it's not a big name so for example if your device has a name like my Bluetooth device so if your device has a, such a long name uh, you can just uh, select the short name you can just select the short name and uh, then your device will automatically after connecting the device uh, can check a, the full device's name so uh, for example if uh, you have uh, two devices there is a slave device and there is a master device and uh, once uh, after the advertisement uh, the devices are connected in the connected state at first for example it just has the name um, MYB so uh, after the connection is established uh, the device uh, the master device can request for the device name and uh, after the request uh, the slave device is going to send uh, this full name to the master device so in this way the device can uh, receive the full name if you have a long device name like uh, in this example we have a very long name then uh, the short name would be suitable but if you just have a uh, six or seven characters like in my case I have Sam BT so these are one two three four five six uh, characters in total so these are uh, six bytes of uh, data so in the advertisement packet we have uh, uh, enough uh, space available for our other stuff sometimes your devices uh, might uh, contain a lot of uh, data in the advertisement packet so data 1, data 2, data 1, data 2, data 3 and so on in your advertisement packet so you want your device's name to be as short as possible so you can select the short name and uh, then you can give it a name as a SA or SAM only and then after the connection the devices can read the full name we can configure our devices to a full name in the advertisement packet mostly uh, we use this uh, configuration if uh, the device uh, does not have a full name for example uh, the device's name is only Sam BT then uh, we don't need uh, uh, the short name now let's come to the short name sometimes the device uh, name can be l too long so if we include it in the advertisement packet then uh, we won't uh, have enough uh, space for advertising other information uh, so in order to tackle this situation we can uh, set the device name uh, to a short name after a connection establishment the host can read uh, the device's name using the gap device name uh, characteristic so this is the characteristic that would be used uh, to read the name of the device so master device is just going to read uh, this uh, characteristic and uh, then it's going to receive the device's uh, full name so that's it that's how the BLE devices names work so we have three main configurations uh, the first one is uh, no name the second one is full device name and third one is short name so if uh, you don't set any name of the device uh, then your uh, device's uh, gap device name characteristic would have uh, this BLE ADV no name so ADV data no name so your device uh, will have no name so uh, the second case is when you want to have a full device name in my case I'm using this so Sam BT and uh, my devices have a full name and it's a Sam BT. I don't need a very long name so it's enough and uh, then uh, I'm just going to set uh, uh, this parameter uh, the BLE ADV data full name and uh, then I will initialize the advertisement in case of a short device name we will set this parameter 
and uh, then uh, we have to define the short name length the, so for example if my device's name is let's say my device name so if my, in this case I have a, a long name heart rate data sensor as my device's name uh, then uh, uh, for the short name uh, what I'm gonna do is I have to select the length of the short name so I can just select one two three four and five characters only so here the device's short name length uh, would be five which would be just h-e-a-r-t heart so uh, the device's name on the advertisement will only be this this much and uh, once we connect uh, we can read the full device's name so uh, then after this step then we will initialize the advertisement so that are the three configurations that we can we can do with our devices name so now let's see how we can uh, do it in the programming okay guys now let's see the programming so first let's go to this PC in the C directory here we have an RF SDK I'm just gonna open the examples here in my projects let's uh, create a new project we will just use the base code so I will just uh, paste it here copy and paste it and then I will rename it and let's open this and uh, go into PCA uh, 10056 because I'm using an RF52840 the BLE code is almost similar for both of the devices so you don't need to worry about it so I will open this and uh, if you are using other devices then you can open PCA10040 so I will uh, open this S140 this is the soft device uh, that's included in this project and uh, I will open SES and uh, I will open the EM project file and uh, let's zoom in a little now first let's go to gap parameters initialization function here is the gaps uh, gap parameters initialization and uh, here is the code to set the device name so in uh, gap parameters initialization we set the device name and uh, this device name is a constant that is declared over here and uh, I set it to Sam BT but uh, if I set it to a very long name I will I will set it uh, just for now let's see the full name example first so the device name is Sam BT so uh, now the device's name is set but in advertisement we have to go and uh, set it according to our needs so let's go to the advertisement init function I will scroll down and here is the advertisement init and here uh, you can see init.adv uh, data dot name type is BLE ADV data full name so it, this means uh, the device uh, device has the first type of name which is the full device name uh, we can also set it to no device name and uh, also uh, as the short device name so for now let's see this uh, full device name it's uh, already set so my device name will be appearing uh, in the advertisement packets so let's build this code okay so make sure your device is connected uh, so click on the connect uh, erase all and uh, download first we are just going to see this and uh, let's minimize this and open the Wireshark first make sure you connect uh, this USB dongle so I'm just gonna connect it so once it's connected open the Wireshark and uh, it's uh, going to load the plugin and then we will see our device so let's apply a filter for that write BTLE and uh, here we are just going to select the advertising address now we will see the devices with advertising address so we can see here there are many devices so let's stop it I have uh, captured my device with the address C190FP so let's see this is our device so let's double click on this and uh, now 
here you can see there is my device name and uh, this is the device address and this is the device name these are the letters for the device which are SAM BT so it's a full device name okay now let's close it and uh, one thing to mention here the device address is uh, basically the static random static and uh, if you you don't know about this just uh, watch my tutorial on random static addresses so now let's uh, minimize this and uh, go back to the programming now we are just going to change the settings so uh, this time uh, let's change uh, the BLE device name to ADV uh, we can set no name or we can set the short name so I'm just gonna set the short name and uh, now since I set the short name I have to tell the length of the device so let's go above and uh, here let's set the device name to be a very long name so I'm just gonna write here my channels name that is Sumer's Embedded Engineering so let's say this is the device name and uh, now in the advertisement I can't uh, set it all so what I'm gonna do is I will set the name to short and then I will set its uh, name length for that let's do it ADV data dot short name length so we have to select this short name length and let's set it to we can set it to whatever value we like 3 6 or whatever so in this case I'm just gonna set it to 6 bytes so first 6 letters would be uh, would appear in the device name but uh, once I connect with the device then I will receive uh, all of the device name now I set it to 6 and the device's length is set uh, and uh, now let's save it and uh, let's build the code again oops I forgot to put the semicolon here let's save it and build it and connect with the target erase the device tar target device and then download it so once it's uh, downloaded first let's go to Wireshark and uh, see it again so I'm gonna turn it on continue without saving and uh, let's see now there are many devices which are sending and let's see this is the device this is our device and here you can see uh, let's stop it and uh, the device's address is similar now uh, this is our device's address and uh, here is the address in the uh, advertisement packet and uh, here is the device's name Sumer but here you can see that uh, there is no full name uh, Sumer's embedded engineering is not included it's just a Sumer and uh, now if uh, I go to my phone I'm gonna connect with this device using my phone so uh, here is my device and uh, here is the NRF Connect app so I'm just gonna go into the NRF Connect app and here in the scanning we can see the first device is uh, Sumer and uh, it's uh, showing my name so if uh, I see the details it, uh, it says shortened local name so the device has a short local name so in order to get the full name I need to connect with the device so I will click on the connect and uh, once uh, the device is connected if I go to generic access and here is the device name so uh, if I click on this and uh, it's going to show the full device name by reading this character it's going to show the full uh, device name by reading it uh, from the device so this is the full name Sumer's Embedded Engineering and uh, here you can see that we can access the full device name uh, by this way if uh, the device's name is longer okay guys that's it for today I uh, hope so you have learned something new today now you know how to work with the device name and now you can set your device's name and uh, if uh, you are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, please do support me on my paypal and patreon and uh, if you have uh, any questions you can ask me in the comments below your uh, support will be really appreciated and uh, I will uh, make sure I make uh, more new tutorials for you guys thank you very much for watching see you in the next video